high school biology teaches you that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, right? And if there's nothing else you take from high school biology, that's probably it, right? It does other things too. It's really important even beyond that. It takes care of things like calcium signaling in the body, which is important for neurotransmission. It takes care of other cell signaling so that cells can talk to each other and let them know what's going on in the body so they can work collectively as a, as a tissue or an organ. It takes care of oxidative stress. If you guys have ever heard of antioxidants, raise your hand if you know of a food that gives you an antioxidant. Broccoli, wine, chocolate, exactly. Well, the mitochondria is largely responsible for helping manage oxidative stress. It's also responsible for apoptosis, right? Programmed cell death, cases where your cells might be differentiating into something like a tumor. Something needs to decide that it's time to shut down and self-destruct before things get out of hand. Well, the mitochondria is largely responsible for that. Carl came up here, he told you that we eat food and then we get something called ATP. And the mitochondria is largely responsible for taking the food that we eat and converting it into ATP.